Hello! This is my first official Let's Play. This is my Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It's one of my first games that I ever played. When I, as it, it basically was the game that really got me into playing video games when I was probably about 8. I wasn't really good when I first started and I'm probably not much better but hey. The game originally came out in 1993 for the Nintendo Game Boy as the fourth in the Zelda series. I'm not playing that version. My version is the uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX edition which came out for the Game Boy Color in 1998. I'm actually playing it on the Super Game Boy adapter which was made for the Super Nintendo. Oh, it's a really fantastic game. I recommend that you check it out if you are able to find it or if you buy it on the 3DS. It's now available. And I'm excited to be playing this game for you, so let's get started. Okay, this is your starting place. These are your two early characters. Um, the two characters. The girl is named Marin and Armarin. I pronounce it as Marin a lot, but it could also be Marin. I'm not really sure because they really you read, so <laughs> it's however you read it. And then this is her dad, T Tarin or Taran. I do either, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, but if you talk to him and he gives you your first item of the game. Um, it's basically a shield which you kind of need. It, you basic controls is since it's equipped to the B button if you click the B button you can use it. If you take it off the B button you can also put it on your A button and use it as your A attack. I'm just gonna leave it on my B button but it's really easy controls. You have basically meaning that you only have two items. Um, this is one of those weird Zelda titles because it introduces Mario characters into the game, such as that Chomp Chomp that we I've just passed, but he's called Bow Wow in this game, so there's a lot of weird things about this title. There's also your familiar enemies like your Octoroks right there and some other familiar annoying enemies but basically they tell you in the beginning of the game is to go down to the beach and to collect your sword which is what's left on the beach After talking to the Owl character, this is probably his first introduction, uh, you can now pick up your sword. <laughs> Woot! That's good. You engraved your name on your sword. Mm -hmm. Very good thing to do, because you never know when you might need your sword. Yeah, after gaining your sword, the music will of course change and you can now attack enemies, which is really great. I'm gonna kill these little crabby guys. I can't really remember off the top of my head all the little enemies' names in this game, but I know some of them, but I'm going to be putting in my videos a little brief mini monster bio on the ones that I cannot remember off the top of my head, especially as well as the ones I do know, like the sea urchins or the octoroks, I, and as well as a little brief strategy. So, if I forget a name of an enemy, 
Sorry. <laughs> This is the first introduction of the Guardian Acorn. Um, there was two special items in this game. There's the Guardian Acorn and the Boost of Power. The Guardian Acorn basically means that you, if you get hit, you take half damage. So if something takes one heart, instead of taking one heart, it'll take half a heart. Or if it takes half a heart, you'll take no damage. Uh, the other item is called a piece of power. A piece of power basically doubles your attack space attack ability as well as making a really awesome attack animation. I'll eventually come across a piece of powder. I don't think I'll come across I don't think you usually come across it on the beach. But or the shore on the shores yet, but yeah. Um one of the earliest things you probably should do is to get at least ten rupees, which is if you don't know, Zelda is the main currency of this game, which is located, you can see your count on the bottom of the screen where there's a little rupee. Right now I have seven, and I'm trying to build up my number. And I recommend that you collect ten for a trading quest item in town that you can instantly do immediately. You can collect more. I am not against rupee collecting, but... It's all over you want to do. But after you've finished mostly with the beach, you need to go back to the town. And I'm going to show you over here. Once you have the sword, you can now get your you can get your first heart piece. First thing you need to do is go to this ledge, cut the bushes and jump into this well. And thus, you got your first heart piece. As with this game, your life is, if you don't know Zelda titles, is basically the little heart containers on the bottom of the screen. You can build up your heart containers by either killing bosses in dungeons, which gives you a full heart container, or by collecting pieces of heart. <sighs> Wrong button. And in this game, you need to collect four, as this screen indicates, to get another heart container. There's only, basically, I believe there's, yeah, there's only 12 heart container pieces of heart in this game. That's what they are called. So, there's not many heart containers that you can get through the course of this game, but... Then again, there's, if you look on your screen, there's hardly any room to add any extra hearts. Um, go up here to this screen where the bushes are and cut into the bushes. You can, if once you do that, you can find another key collecting item which is called a secret seashell. You only really, if you want, need to collect 20 secret seashells in this game if you want the key item, but you also, but you have the opportunity to collect 26 in this game. Um, I'm going to show you the location for all of them and what item or items that you can get if you collect all 26 versus 20. They're both pretty good items so I recommend that you also participate in this quest as well. It's not that hard. Many of the seashells are pretty easy to find. It's just a few that are a little tricky, but other than that, it's a really simple extra little quest that they placed in this game as well. Um, if you Once you have at least 10 rupees, I have 13 now, you need to go to this shop. This is called the Trendy Game. It's your first real mini game in this, in this game, and if you talk to him, He tells you how to work the game. It's basically a claw game. Um, you just, as he said, make the B button, make it move a direction, and then you click the A button to bring the shadow down onto an object, and the claw will come down and pick up an object. I recommend that you play this game and collect the Yoshi doll, which is your first, another quest, trading quest. <laughs> With this Yoshida in mind, you now can start trading, 
and instantly, since we've already got this little Yoshi doll, we're gonna go up north to the north part of the village and pass this shop. And you need to talk to her with the baby, this woman. This item, you can also trade it again, and you take it over here to where the Chomp Chomp is, go into the little doghouse, and talk to this little mini Chomp Chomp. And if you give her this, she'll give you the dog food. So, already you've completed several tra trading mini quest options that you can do. I'm gonna go up north because the owl wanted me to go north um, but before I go north I will show you a location well no I could share that in the next video. Um, I'm gonna go up over here you've Talk to Marin right here, and she will sing to you the theme of this game. She also tell you that her father has gone up into the woods to look for her, look for some toadstools. But she, instead, and she's left the town, of course, singing. And this song is, as she said, was about a windfish. This is the key song of the game, and you'll use it throughout. So it's just a really fun thing if you want to do is listen to the song. Our next destination is a mysterious forest. It's a little bit mysterious. Okay, as the owl suggested that you go to. If you cut this bush and enter here, you'll see the owl. I'm going to cut this video off here. Um, this is just basically the intro of the game. It's really easy and simple. It's not a lot that you can do. Um, but I'm already basically at 10 minutes, and I think this is a good cut point. So I'm going to, in the next video, show you where you can get yourself another early heart piece, as well as the key to the next dungeon, some another key item that you'll need, and, and then leave it to that. So... So I'm hoping that you're enjoying this video. I know it's a little slow, but it'll build up, and this is a really good game. I recommend that you check it out. You can now buy it on the, as a download on the 3DS, and it's a really good investment. This is a really great Zelda title. When it was first released, it received really high marks, so I really recommend that you check out this game and keep gaming. <laughs>